children bear the greatest consequences of war. I'm on my way to Warsaw, Poland. I'm traveling there with Yusuf to meet the brave Ukrainian women and children whose lives have been torn apart by war and violence in their country. Now all of the story is fading from the news, but the facts are still very newsworthy. And the numbers that I'm going to share with you are staggering, and they bear constant repeating. Now since the onset of the Russian invasion in February, over 5.8 million Ukrainians, mostly children and mothers, have fled to countries across Europe. Now more than 3.6 million refugees have registered for temporary protection, and half of these registered are children, up to 18 years old. Now within Ukraine, over 6.3 million people remain displaced by armed conflict. This is the largest human displacement crisis in the world, and the consequences of this will last for many generations. Let me give you something else to think about. The destruction brought onto the education system due to this war will have a huge impact on the lives and the futures of the country's 5.7 million school-aged children. The estimated 2.2 million Ukrainian children who have sought refuge in neighboring countries need every opportunity to continue their learning, and that can be through multiple pathways. Schools, distant learning, catch-up, language classes. As these numbers have shown us, the war in Ukraine has created a child rights and refugee crisis. The situation is not of their choosing, and yet they are the most affected. Every child, no matter where he or she is born, deserves the same fundamental right, the chance to survive, to be educated, and to be protected. I'm going to be meeting the courageous mothers and children who have had to flee their homes and will be sharing their stories with you over the next three days. I'll also be sharing the stories of the incredible work that is being done by UNICEF and its partners to provide them much needed services and support to ensure that these children can at least try to keep learning, stay healthy, maybe safe. To help them handle the stress and trauma and the fear that they've experienced. To help them heal from the invisible wounds of war. Please follow along with me because this crisis is far from over.